being watched. Oh no! <laughs> Why you gotta sully your videos with my hideous image? Oh, would you stop it? Don't have to be like that. Yes, I do. No. It's supposed to be all happy and go lucky. You just got your bike. I know. And the doggy tags. Yes, my dog tags are back. It feels so good to have another pair of dog tags on. It's been a long time since you've seen me walk around with a pair of dog tags on. Yeah. Long time. Yeah. You like it. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna give away all my secrets. Brings back memories, does Oh it? my god, shut up! <laughs> Are you blushing? No, 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 hold on. Hold I need to blush away by your pretty bike. Go away. Oh, she blushing. Oh my god. She oh, it's so red. Go away. Are you really red. stalking me right now? Go away. I need to stalk you. You live here. I know. <laughs> Anyways, now I can actually start my intro without you creeping on me. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my vlog. So, again, I know it's a little late seeing how you can see the sun, like, sky. But, uh, I had a very eventful day. So then Paul. Paul went out and picked up his bike. His bike. Right there. His bike. It's so pretty. And you also got his doggy tags. Yes. Yo, puppy tags. And in two days, I get my Under Armour shirt. Woo! And I'm still waiting for my birthday gifts. Yes. yes. You can. I have to wait. They'll be here eventually. Eventually. Not fast enough. My birthday is Monday. So, anyways, I went to the pub, ran into a really old friend of mine and his puppy. I was going to do some vlogging over at the park, but my friend, who does not want to be mentioned on the vlog, did not want to be a part of it, so out of respect, I could not videotape the puppy or anything. Yeah, I didn't want to deal with that. Yeah, no, that's why I left, honestly. I was going to chill there until you were ready to leave, but yeah, I was, until that started, I was just like, no, I'm out. I was just waiting for our friend to pack up and leave because yeah. I just didn't want to leave him there. Yeah. Plus, it's been like three years since I've seen him, so. But, yeah. But we had an eventful day. You ain't got your pretty little bike was sitting outside. Well, after I freaking negotiated with Walmart for like three hours. Yeah, and then you got your doggy tags. Bad part about my day was I went to City Hall to go get my birth certificate and I have to wait. Because they don't accept cards. They only accept checks and cash. So that sucks. I did all that running around from nothing. I forgot to even go back to City Hall and tell them to put it on hold for me. So. Do they do that? They'll hold it for at least 48 hours. And I was going to be back here anyways on the 13th before I go to oh, yeah. Jules. So I could have done it then, but I'm going to have to wait and refill out the paperwork again. Yeah. Simple I know, but it takes like a half hour for them to go through all yeah, the people it. with the Processes. same name. They gotta separate them, then they gotta find the right one with the same parents that are listed on the paperwork. I found out that there are four people with my name, yeah. which they don't know my biological name. Yeah. But <laughs> there are four people in the state of New Hampshire. There's four people that have the name Guggenheim? Yep. Yep. Thanks for giving out my first name. <laughs> but there are four people, well, not really. Hey, but... you would be named after a famous art museum. Anyways, you know? there are four people with my name. 
And I'm not talking about my married name. I'm talking about my maiden name. So, there's four people with the same name. And they have to go through the entire system, every single city, to find me. Because my last known address is my parents, so. I mean, you know, certain offices do have my, have Alexandria down, but majority of the state no, thinks that I still live with my parents. But I don't. But anyways, so that was the highlight of my day. Then I got to see a puppy, and puppy sit, which was so fun, even though the puppy was sad because his daddy had to leave, but it was fun. Got to see a couple of old friends, and then I walked home. I came home. Paul checked the mail, and then my presents weren't there yet. No. Yes. That's so sad. So sad. Yeah, the delivery date, the estimated delivery date is like the 21st. Yes, but for me using that app though, I have used that since before Al Morgan was even born. Yeah. And they've always come really, really early. So that's why I just got like, I, I have hope. I have well, hope. Again, you gotta think, it's being shipped international. It's coming from China. So? Remember my dragon earring? Yeah. That was from China, and they came within three days after it got shipped. Maybe a U.S. carrier already had it. I don't know. When I got the package, it said it was from China. Random, but okay. So, now for our rest of the night mission. What are you doing? Oh, that is a spray. It looked like a Pepsi can at first. I was like, what the hell? Why would I bring Pepsi into the house? I don't know. That's why I was just looking. I can't drink caffeine. I know. That's why I was just looking. Anyways. Ah! The rest of our plan for tonight is that Mr. Paul is making steak. Yummy, yummy steak. I don't know what you're talking about. It's you're cooking that. I'm not making it. <laughs> I said I'll cook my spinach. Well, you're in charge of the sides. And then we're and gonna then watch a movie. I have to go through our favorites list on Xfinity and see what they have. Yeah. I know a few of them that I added or read to own. I plan on buying one of those next month. But I gotta go through the list and find what we can actually watch right now. And then, I don't know. And I'll get a shower. I need a shower. I showered this morning. Because I'm supposed to be hanging out with my new crush tomorrow. But he said that he might have to cancel due to money wise because he just put freaking almost a thousand dollars on his car to get his trainee fluid fits and some, uh, I think part of his motor almost blew so he had to go and get that piece so and he lives about an hour away so he said that if he has the gas money he will come down tomorrow but if not he'll see me on the 14th when I go up to work because he's going to buy a ticket from Nick personally so that way he can go to the show and hang out with me because the ones I have are from Manchester Oh, oh. Because on the 12th and the 14th, there is a surprise guest on the tickets, which yeah. I found out, which is why he won't let me sell them. Because it is a surprise for me, apparently. Like, I already know two of the bands that are going to be there, but apparently there's going to be another surprise that is from the rap tour. Hey, the fact so. that that excavator had my initials on it. Can you open this, please? I kind of can't open my nails. My daddy had to do it the other day for me, too. So, yes. But as of tomorrow, I will start vlogging during the day instead of near the end of the day. Tomorrow!
Because I know a few of the people that actually do watch this, they do, they are actually very close friends of mine that have messaged me, telling me that I need to start doing them during the day too, because they like to know what is going on with me. And one of them would be a family member that does not want to be mentioned. So. But yes. So therefore, that is how our day is, was and how our night is going to be. I will be vlogging off and on up until probably 10, and then I'll start editing this one. And then... I'm still so proud of myself for negotiating Walmart as a bike. <laughs> You're so proud of yourself. Yeah. So Seriously, they were dead set on telling me to come back in three days to pick up my bike. When it was supposed to be in there today. Yeah. So that's why I, when I was like, you know what? I still got some time. You guys told me another truck might be coming in today. I'll just wander around the store and I'll check back in an hour or so. And they're like, fine, whatever. So at that point, they wanted to get me away from the desk anyway. Yeah. There was other people waiting. There is a part of my vlog today that I do want to talk about, but I'm a little embarrassed to talk about it in front of people. But well, you have yeah, it's something that happened last night, and I actually cried myself to sleep last night because of it. So, and I know it'll probably make you a little upset. I mean, granted, you're gonna say what you normally say, stop listening to other people, but it, you know me. Yeah. When something like that really bothers me, it's going it to get to the point head. where it's not going to go away. Nothing you say is going to change yeah, it. it but I also feel embarrassed because I hate crying in front of Paul because then it just makes him even more upset. <laughs> so that's why and I then said... Then I get into the mood where, especially now that I have a bike and I can get places quickly, I'm going to hunt people down. Yeah, but you're not going to be able to find them because I don't even know where they live. Oh, I can find them. But it was just something that happened last night. I'm on a website called Meet Me. I am single and ready to mingle. <laughs> but I do a live feed over on there so every so often. I used to do it every single day, but I cut down on it because I started doing vlogs. And so I don't really have time to do Meet Me and vlog at the same time. So I try to alternate. Maybe every other day I'll be on Meet Me. But I was on there, I posted up, I'll talk a little bit about it because it's going to bother me. But what happened was every time that I post a vlog, I will post it on to Meet Me. So people that actually do want to see my vlogs will view them, like them, do whatever. And I posted up the URL link to my YouTube for my video from last night. And someone ended up posting it on it in a comment saying that I remind them of this woman that I actually just started watching recently, which I found extremely insulting. This woman, she is heavy set. That's not the part that bothered me. It was because of the fact that me and her have a lot of things in common. And he was making fun of her and making fun of me. She's called Boo Boo. Oh, honey, Boo Boo, mom. She's like this woman that goes on reality TV and she was very self-conscious about how she looked and how much she weighed. And this guy just started running his mouth about it, sitting there saying that I look like a splitting image of her to the T, my personality-wise and everything. And I don't care about what people say about me, but when it comes to my weight and the fact that I have no bottom teeth, that's what bothers me the most. Like, I went into a huge depression last night. I cried myself to sleep. I'm actually starting to choke up right now because of it. I got so bad to the point where I spent from about 12.30 when Paul went to bed all the way until about 3 this morning looking online for dentists that do dentures. Did two different freaking um, GoFundMe pages to help me pay for my dentures so I can go and get them done and looking at things that I know that I can never get to, like liposuction and shit like that. But it got to that point where I actually started looking at those things. I know that I'm not the prettiest person. I'm not a size 2 anymore. I'm not a model anymore. 
But it still bothers me when people run their mouths about how I look. I know I'm not attractive. I know that I'm going to be 25 on Monday and I have no teeth. No bottom teeth. They do have teeth. And it's to the point where I just, I don't really even want to look at myself. Like, that's why I'm staring at the TV instead of actually looking at my phone. Like, I don't want to see myself at all right now. I, I don't know. Haters gonna hate. I know, but the fact that someone sits there and then tells me that I'm a fraud because I'm false advertising myself on Meet Me, it's like, no. That is me in my profile picture. That is me in all of my pictures. I used to be a model, so I know the poses that I can make to make myself look at least a little decent. So, you know, yeah, of most of my recent pictures, I am laying down. So obviously my stomach, when you lay down, your stomach kind of goes to the side. So therefore I look a little slimmer. But this guy, he went so bad to the point where he was making fun of my birth effect too. That's how bad it was. Like this, I know, I blocked him and everything and then he made another account and just continued. It got to the point where I actually took down the post and actually deactivated Meet Me for a little bit and then reactivated it because it was that bad, like I could not handle it. I was very, very depressed last night, which is one reason why, even though that I woke up at like 8, I laid here and I was listening to you with your text messages and stuff like that, I was listening to the TV, I just did not move, I kept trying to fall back to sleep, I did not want to get up today. I didn't even want to go out today until you mentioned something about my birth certificate. And I knew that I had to get that done, that's why I pushed myself to go outside. But honestly, I didn't want to go anywhere today. I felt so disgusted with myself. You know, like, and I'm always one that sits there and tells people that sit there and put themselves down saying, oh, I'm ugly, I'm gross, blah, 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 I'm fat. I put myself down too, but that's just a natural thing. Yeah. And I can't even freaking take the, my own advice half the time when I sit there and tell my friend who is actually overweight. I love her to death, but she is beautiful the way she is. And I'm talking about Sandy. She puts herself down all the time about it. And I sit there and tell her, like, you know, screw them. They don't need you. You don't need them. Get rid of them out of your life. And I tried to do that last night, but the guy persists. He made multiple accounts and just kept harassing me. He sat there, went as far as saying that, you know, whoever did my surgeries for my birth effect obviously should be getting sued and fired for their job because they didn't know what they were doing because I still look like a fucking busted ass dog. Like, it was really bad. It shows how insecure he is about his own image. And the only way he finds joy now because he's so insecure is to sit there and rag on other people. Yeah, I mean, and when I go on Meet Me and I go on live, I hear the, I read the comments all the time, Paul's seen them too, where they sit there and say that I false advertise myself, or, you know, I'm actually truly ugly on the inside and out. Like, people will sit there and make their comments, and I block them, whatever, and I move on with life. But the fact that this person literally went as far as to making three different accounts just to keep commenting on that status. It got to me to the point where it just, I, I was like, fuck it. Like, I actually almost gave up on going and doing YouTube because of it. Like, I was sitting there talking to myself this morning, sitting there saying, I'm just going to deactivate my YouTube account. Fuck it. I'm not going to do it. And it, it was bad. Like, I was sitting there talking to our friend. I can't say his name but me and when you were riding your bike around every so often and when you would come back over and we'd stop talking that's what we were talking about because I told him that you didn't know about it yet and he he remembers you yeah he knows he remembers you he remembers you vaguely but he does remember how protective you are of me yeah and he knew that you would get upset so he would change the subject completely and that's why I would sit there and start playing with the dog as soon as you would come over yeah like he knows hands down I'll fucking, I will not hesitate to go anywhere in this city and beat the ever-living piss out of somebody if I have to. Like, I have, before. like, I have no idea who the freaking person was and didn't even have, like, where he lived or anything on his profile. Yeah. Like, he kept himself completely hidden and he didn't even have a face to even go with his 
profile. It was a freaking meme. That was his profile picture. But I was sitting there talking to him about it, and he was even sitting there telling me, too. He goes, I want a name. I don't even care if it's a username. I want a name. I'll go sign up on Meet Me, and I'll beat the fuck out of him myself. And I'm like, no, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, I don't want violence. Yeah, I'm depressed. I know I'll get over it eventually, but right now, because it's so fresh right now, it's affecting me. And, you know, he was even sitting there telling me, you know, I shouldn't listen to other people, blah, blah, blah. And he, and like, okay, my friend that I'm talking about, he is one of my closest friends. He is, I would say, one of my best friends. I'm not attracted to him. He's not attracted to me. He's also about my dad's age. <laughs> okay. I, I was homeless when I met him. And he was homeless, and that's how we became friends. And, you know, like, he's like a brother to me. And he even sat there and said, hell, like, you know, if we actually had that kind of connection, we were attracted to each other, he goes, I'd date you on a heartbeat. And if he was also 20 years younger than, like, younger than he is right now, but, you know. <laughs> but my point is, is if you're going to watch my vlogs, that's great. If you're going to sit there and talk crap, though, you are going to get banned from a profile on any profile that I have. I don't need the negativity. You know, I, I do what I do to make other people happy, make myself happy. And the fact that I'm able to open up to you guys and talk about it really says a lot about me now. Because beforehand, you can even ask Paul, I would never, ever talk about something like this to anybody unless you were extremely close to me. But it is to the point where, you know, I want to get, I want my viewers to get to know me for who I am. I am going to be 25 on Monday. I have four piercings, two tattoos, and no bottom teeth. I am 165 pounds, which I weighed myself at my parents' house this weekend. I am 165 pounds now. But for me, that's good. Yeah. Because I was 180, like, not even two months ago, and I lost all that weight. Yeah. I am proud of myself for losing weight, but I know that I still have a lot of work to go to make it to where I want to be. But if you're going to be on my on my YouTube or on my Meet Me, view it to view me, to get to know me. You're going to make the negative comments, that's awesome, but keep them to yourself. The whole world doesn't need to know about how much of a bad person you are. Well, that is just childish. Exactly. And if you're willing to make fun of a grown-ass woman, you're supposed to be a grown-ass man or a grown-ass woman, that just shows that you are not mature and you're a bad person. If you can't accept somebody from the way that they look, then what my friend Brett would say, get the fuck out of here. Nobody wants you around. Go sit there and make your own YouTube page or your own freaking meet me and talk shit about people on your own occasions. We don't need to see it for those that are actually trying to make a life of themselves. I have been ranting for 23 minutes. <laughs> I'm done with this vlog for now. This is probably going to turn into another special because this is a huge thing that's just bothering me. And I'm probably going to talk about it a little bit more tonight. But I will vlog during supper, during the making of supper like I always do, and during probably parts of the movie to see what we're watching and what we're doing. And then I will do my closing after Paul goes to bed because it's weird when I try to say goodbye to you guys and he kind of like looks at me and I can feel his eyes staring at me like he's doing right now. Cut it out. <laughs> what you're talking about. Do so, a damn thing. I was playing with my keys. We will see you in a little bit. Oh my god, I just saw myself and I want to cry. <laughs> we'll see you in a little bit. I'm, myself. I'm an asshole, baby, oh. Fashionably late. I'm the one you love to hate. Cause I can't stand myself. I'm an asshole, baby, oh. That's my fucking mind. It happens all the time. Cause I can't stand myself. I'm an asshole, baby, ho. Oh. Fashion of me late. I'm the one you love to hate. Cause I can't stand myself. I'm an asshole, baby. What we making? What we making? Oh, you recorded me? Yes. Yeah? Yes. A lot of sexy dog tags. 
You're making your sexy dog tags? Yeah. That's kind of creepy. What are you making? Uh -huh. I am making steak. You are making the side, which are mixed vegetables and garlic mashed taters and spinach. Yummy. Yuck. Because I am allergic to corn, so therefore I cannot have mixed. And I just cannot fucking stand spinach. Because you're weird. It's disgusting. Time to listen to me whine About a thing and everything I'll have once I yeah, am man. one of those Neurotic fools Neurotic to the bone, no doubt about it I think it's on me. Keep setting up. I think I'm breaking up. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, my God, the house smells so good. So good. To your door. I like the door. Now! Stop! Stop it! I think I'm cracking up. You can annoy. So I have to redo the ending of this vlog for a second time. Because the ending of our vlog was actually pretty funny. It's charging. Huh? It's charging. So, I'm just gonna leave it be for a little bit because it's so dead. It has to literally, like. Oh, like it just seems like the cable isn't even. Yeah, I had that issue. Staying in there right now, too far. I will look at it after I redo the end of our vlog for a second time. Your vlog. I just happen to be in it. It's your vlog, too. Shut no, up. No, it's not. Your vlog. Yeah. I will tickle you. So, we didn't get to do our movie. No. Me and Paul made dinner. We ate, watched TV. I took a shower, I got out of the shower, and I feel even worse than that when I went in. So... I'm gonna make it share, short. Subscribe or die. Choice. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.